A question that a lot of people have, myself included, is when to start bringing your puppy in to have them groomed. Sally, when would you say is the perfect time to bring your pooch in? Well, I usually tell people to start out when the dogs are pretty young. The longer you wait, the more traumatic it is for them to come into a, to a busy shop. Um, they need to learn how to get nails trimmed. They need to know what a brush is and just even what our blow dryers are and all. So, um, you know, this, this lady brought in little butt Buddy to come in and spend some time in our daycare. Um, he gets used to people and dogs and um, he gets used to getting his toenails done and he's going to get a bath today. And he's only Aww. three months old and he's not real excited about having he's his, so his toenails done, but it's a, good, <laughs> it's a great thing right now to kind of get him used to this. Everybody pets him and we play with him and um, we try to make it so that it's not a really traumatic or, ordeal. So by the time he is 70 pounds, mm -hmm. Buddy will come in and he'll just sit there he'll while know. I grind his nails he'll and he'll know what's on. going on. Awesome. Little dogs like this, a poodle like Wendell here, poodles have to go through a lot of trimming as any of the long haired dogs have got to, you know, they really have to be groomed a lot during mm -hmm. their lifetime. So the, the sooner you begin, the better off they are for, right. for the dog. It's just much, much easier on them if they understand the, the whole process. And if you wait until he's six or nine months old, they've got a lot of fears by then. And when you try to put a clippers, a buzzing, noisy clippers near them or a blow dryer, you know, they really can hit the ceiling. Absolutely. So if we can start out, if we can start out early with them and kind of get especially little poodles to understand what it is to have their feet shaved and, uh, and their nails trimmed and even that, the clippers on their face and all, it makes it a whole lot easier for them a little bit later on. So, so we will do, like dogs like this, we'll start out with a puppy visit first, mm -hmm. which will entail just doing some of the basics, you know, mm -hmm. doing the feet, trimming up the feet and the face and a bath and getting them used to a blow dryer and nail trimming. And then each time they come, we do a little bit more until they need a whole a full groom. And by then, they're really used to it. That's a so, great way. So, so just a few so, months. They're really, not so right. scared when they get here and think, right. you know, they're in for something terrible. Any time from, from two to four between two and five months, you really need to get them in. That's you know, awesome. Let them get used to it. Now, a common misconception that people have is that you know when fall time rolls around, they need to stop grooming or even worrying about fleas. But here in the South, it stays hot. The fleas are terrible right. this time of year, fall. and really to stay on top of that grooming. Yes. Right, Sally. Very true. Uh, fleas get really bad right now. We're having a lot of people come in very regularly to have flea baths on a weekly basis. Uh, uh, you definitely have to keep up with flea control throughout the year. The fall, they just tend to kind of build up after we've had, you know, rain and all. The fleas just build up until people have got them in their home. They, they may not even realize it until it's really late and the, they're getting bitten. Because yes. if they have a dog around, the fleas are going to stay on the dog. And right. they won't be biting you until maybe he goes to the kennel or he's gone for a couple of days. Then they're ravenous and you go, oh my gosh, we have fleas. Oh, so, that's terrible. Um, so you really do have to keep on top of it. And there's so many products on the market now. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of things from, from new flea collars that really work way better than the old fashioned ones um, to spot on treatments to pills that they take by mouth once a month. Mm -hmm. um, all these things, you know, your veterinarian can tell you about them. Uh, we can tell you about them. We use Capstar in here if your dog comes in with a lot of fleas. Mm -hmm. um, we do everything we can to make sure they go home with no fleas at all. But you have to do something ongoing. You know, right. just doing it at that one time is not going to last you. You know, right. very They're long. Right. They're everywhere so, outside. Exactly. So staying and, on top of that. And then you know, you're grooming too. Everybody tends to want to go in the fall and winter time. They think, you know, it's going to get cold now, and they're coming in now saying it's going to get cold, and it just right. doesn't get that cold. It really does. So you can't have these dogs go all winter long without having a haircut. You know, they, especially if they're your indoor pet, they don't need all that winter right. coat. They just they don't need it. You know, they're just not going to get too cold going out potty and coming back in. Exactly. Um, I mean, if all you have to do is think about people that have, you know, the guys that are have deer, deer hounds and beagles that are mm -hmm. out in outdoor pens in the south all, exactly. all winter long. Exactly. And as, you know, as long as they have a place to get in out of the real cold, they're fine. So, exactly. so your pet with a lot of hair needs to be groomed over the winter time. You don't want it to get matted right. up and then by the time you finally do it, they're in pain. They come back so in the sure spring and they're just, they're in agony really. Exactly. I feel so bad for them. So please keep up grooming through the winter. And you guys are the place to bring your pooches. They're always so happy here. Little Buddy has almost taken my hand off today, but he's having a blast. Make sure you come to Pet Pizzazz for all of your puppy needs.